Hello guys, uh, sometimes I decide to play with a little bit of loaders just for the fun and usually it's this tank I take KV1 with a dirt gun with gold ammo. I know it's mean but sometimes you gotta have just some fun. Uh, I platoon up with some of the newer, newer guys in uh, SCTA. Uh, TV tank banger <laughs> and Harald. Uh, usually, when you play tier 5s, we end up being top tier or it's a couple of tier 6s, but suddenly we got dropped into this match. Uh, tier 7s, tier 7s, tier 7s, and tier 6s, tier 6s, and then at the bottom of the list, 3 tier 5s. Um, not a good start. Uh, from the matchmaking point of view, but um, this end up being well, we'll see at the end of the match. Uh, I decide to go to the city because that's the only place I will have any chances of surviving and hitting some tanks. Um, and thankfully, all those guys that are right now staying behind me over there end up moving to the city, so I'm not all alone there. KV1 is quite slow, so speed things up a little. We'll take uh, quite a while until the, the action happens. If I remember correctly, there should be a KV1 popping up. It's, no, it's a Jackson, yeah. And that's the drop gun with each cells for you. 327 damage on the first shot. And uh, this bad biker is really close, but each cell to the face, almost 300 damage. Biker shot, as you can hear, and uh, I can take a shot at him and do 360 damage to him. And then go back. Being, uh, being a, a bottom there and in a KV1, be patient. That's the most important thing. Tiger shot. Unfortunately, he killed one of my platoon mates, but I'm gonna take revenge. Another hit shell to the face, 390 damage this time. <laughs> Leaving the Tiger with 50 HP only. Actually, he's dead now. Um, but now. Let the other guys go first. No sense in going to their 5 tank uh, against all of those tanks. The gun is not the most accurate, as you can see. Uh, right now, there's the ARL 44 is aiming here, so I don't want to go out, so be patient. Don't die and then. Uh, Call your team new boy, blame the matchmaking. I mean, <laughs> this is not a good matchmaking for you, but um, right here, I, that, I, that's a little bit stupid of me taking a shot to the face from the ARL, but I got a shot on him, so mm, well, uh, speeding things up a little bit because uh, <laughs> taking a quick shot at the Jack Thunder there. It was a little bit stupid, he went forward, then he stopped, and uh, started going backwards. If he would have just continued forward, I wouldn't have uh, hit him. Okay, now if I remember correctly, nothing's going to happen for a long while. Hopefully, because I don't want to miss another moment again. I'm aiming at uh, there because I was uh, thinking Jack Panther might try to go forward again. Well, but after quite a while, I get bored, so I decide to push in a the lowest tier tank. But uh, to be honest, I did look at the situation first. Is it something to my camera? Um, I was looking if the, it was safe to move. Uh, the ARL 44 is dead now, so there was nobody shooting me down there. Everybody else is behind the buildings, or KV1 stayed behind there, so there wasn't anyone who could shoot me when I was uh, going across the street. And then I get to cover and don't get shot. 
So that's a moment when you can actually push in the lowest air tank. And uh, actually, my team is following me, which is nice. I try to see if the checkpoint able to do or some mistake, but he doesn't. So I leave him be and go somewhere where I can actually do something. Um, here I decided to use the tiger as a cover. Go behind him so nobody else can shoot me. Aiming at the jack bander. Okay, he's dead to me. He can shoot me maybe. Tiger destroys the house and I kill the jack bander. First kill of the game actually. For me. Um, right now I was waiting for the tigers to support me against the KV1S and the Churchill. But, uh, well, if they don't want to, I go shoot this cave one. But unfortunately, Tiger kills me before. But now, these are the only two tanks left on this flank. No, be patient, be patient. Don't go head first against them. But now, I see that they're both aiming at the Tigers, so um, I can go take a, and take a shot. Within the side of the side of the <laughs> Churchill for 400 damage. He comes out and misses me. Uh, I just don't get the reload in time to shoot him, so I go out and shoot him. And I do a stupid thing. I should have never, ever shot the hull of the Churchill with the derp gun. Always go for the Churchill style because it does not have a gun mantle, and I had could easily kill him. Now I pick out and decide to do the KV-1 because I got dragged by the Churchill. Churchill comes out, shoots me once, goes back, I don't get to shoot him, my driver is dead. I'm waiting, waiting, okay he comes out, I shoot him but Tiger kills me before me actually. So I wasted the three minion shell right there. Now I just really get to kill the KV-1S. And that's me. So, no uh, not much to say about this really. It is uh, just to show that even if you have the lowest tier, you can still uh, do something. Uh, first of all, go somewhere where you won't die in the first minute. Uh, wait for the enemies to make a mistake. If they uh, shoot somebody else and you can shoot them, go shoot them uh, without getting a shot, of course. If somebody disturbs their cover, uh, and you can shoot them, well, again, shoot them, if they're looking away, and you can go shoot their back, well, by all means, go do that. Uh, so, wait for the enemies to make a mistake, don't try to do anything by yourself, so keep close to allies if possible. And, uh, now, well, not much else to say about this one. Again, it's just mostly to show that you can do, uh, do something and be useful, even if you're the lowest tier. And uh, now for the battle results. That was on a victory with 63k uh, credits, 4586 uh, experience with a double. That was actually the most experience I ever got in a KV1. Uh, team score, most experience, super super ice, and most damage in a KV1 in a tier 7 battle, so that can't be too bad. Uh, detail report, 13 shots, 11 hits, 10 penetrations, that's what you can expect with a derp gun, if you are careful. Uh, damage, 3200, uh, that's something you can't usually expect in a KV-1, because usually it's a tier 5 battle, and there won't be enough enemies to do that amount of damage. It's received, 4, enemies uh, damage, 6, enemies destroyed, 2. But this is the bad thing about the derp gun uh, with uh, heat ammunition, 8k profits, even with that amount of damage done, and 52k credits spread to resupplying the ammunition, so, um, well, usually you will lose money this way, but I did very lot of damage, so that's why I made profit, actually. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, don't lose hope, if you are the bottom tier of the match, you can still be useful. And I will see you guys next time.